A common requirement for document authors is to add things like headers, footers, page numbers, watermark stamps, etc. to their PDF documents. Let's explore how we can perform these tasks using Foxit Phantom PDF. Let's first start off with headers and footers. In Phantom PDF, page numbers are considered part of a header or a footer. So let's look at both these tasks at the same time. The first thing I want to do is click on the Organize tab and then the header and footer button. We don't have any existing headers or footers in this document, so then we want to click on Add. Phantom PDF then provides me with a pop-up screen to define headers and footers. So I want to put a center header that has polar bears. I want to put in the right bottom corner a page number, so I write in any prefix that I want, then I hit the Insert Page Number button. And then I want to put the date with a date colon prefix and say insert date. Now this document has a cover page and I don't want to put the header and footer on a cover page. So let me go into page range options and choose the pages. Have it start on page two and now let's hit OK. So if we look on the cover page, we see there's no header and footer. Uh, but we see the header on the second page, the footers on the second page, and every page thereafter. So very quick and easy way to insert headers and footers and page numbers. Now let's put in a watermark. A popular watermark is to signify that a document is a draft. So let's mark this document as a draft with a draft watermark. So now I want to go hit the watermark button. And again, hit add because we don't have one existing. And for the text, let me put in a capital draft. I like to have my watermarks uh, gray so you can see through them, so you can read the text underneath it. I also like to have mine at an angle, so I'll rotate it at 45 degrees. Okay. The opacity is a little light. Let me move it up a little bit so make sure people can see it. And here you have a preview of it on the uh, right-hand side. So now I hit OK. And now we see a draft is on each one of the pages of the document. And when the draft is finished and I want to remove the watermark, I just go back to watermark, hit remove, and now the draft is gone from my document. And lastly, let's put a stamp on a document. A common stamp is a sign here stamp. And typically we do that on forms, so let's bring up a form. So let's put one next to the signature field. So first I want to go to the Comment tab and then click on the Stamp button. Here is my sign here. I scroll down to where the signature field is, then I place my stamp. If you need further assistance, please contact Fox at Support 24 by 7.